Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Sunday, coming at you with a nice one here. 2022 Panini Contenders Football. Six box, half case, picky team, seven half case from a fresh case. Thanks everybody here for making it happen. You're on a Sunday, April 2nd, 2023. If you, uh, Charles, you got a little uh, star next to your name. That means you got Last Spot Mojo. 70% of the time, Last Spot Mojo hits 100% of the time. You got Rooftops next to your name. That means you won that in the filler. Double Rooftops? Like Adam means you won an extra spot in the filler, then got the team. So thanks everyone for making this happen, appreciate it. Second half of the case, uh, pick your team eight, no filler. So you can get your teams straight up if you'd like. And all that of course, jazbeescasebreaks.com. For those of you interested in personal boxes, there may be some remaining on Instagram at Jaspies Rakes on Instagram Live. You can get a box for yourself if you'd like. I made a little bit of a mess here. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we got Left stack, right stack of six. We'll roll the die. We'll go one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's three, one, two, three. And we will save these for break eight. This is pick your team seven. And I've marked all of those eight right there or, or infinity if you're into that sort of thing. And let's get into it. Now I know there's a lot of basketball, baseball, college hoops happening here. I guess that is this the calm before the uh, dr the draft storm? It's really nothing going on in uh, in the NFL, right? All the all everyone all the players pro days and stuff are over. I guess there'll be like some meetings here and there, right? The teams will fly some quarterbacks, especially fly them out to their facilities, give them a tour, see what they're all about. Cornerback Slay says almost a Raven before joining the Eagles. Seahawks rescind tender on re, re, uh, restricted free agent safety. Neil, you know, uh, I don't know. MetLife gets new turf. And these are sort of sort of some older headlines here. Odell Beckham Jr. being Odell Beckham. What's what's uh, what's the news on Odell Beckham Jr.? The last I heard is that he was uh, walking, doing the classic walk through the lobby of the uh, of the coaches meeting, right? The GM coaches meeting, wherever that was. I haven't heard anything about him since. Aaron Rodgers, that deal's not done. Lamar Jackson deal not done. Oh, he apparently told his team his price. All right. That's a bold move. I, I mean, if I was in his position, I'd put myself out there like that. Got to sell yourself. We got rookie ticket Peyton Hendershot. And that'll be for Dallas. That's going to go to Charles. Last spot mojo strikes again. We'll keep track of the autographs there. Uh, I think in this break, vet commons do not ship. Yeah, we've been doing that for, for all these pick your teams. Obviously, inserts will ship, but these guys won't ship. These will ship. We'll do left-right randomizers on that. 
right? Obviously that will ship, that's an insert. And this will definitely ship, Easy e That's how he signs it. Rookie ticket autograph, Eric Azuknama. 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 Easy e that's easier for me. That's Miami, that's gonna go to Joseph. We'll do left, right randomizers on that. We'll set that over there. Yeah, Logan's a Packers guy. He's like, come on, Aaron Rodgers, yeah or nay? Yeah, what's going on there? I did see something a week or so ago, Logan. And here's a nice Jalen Tolbert with that rookie card badge sort of step and repeat background there. I like that. That goes to Charles and Dallas. Last spot mojo. Strikes again. I saw something that if they wait until after a certain date that they're able to so if they trade them bef now they have one cap hit, right? Whatever that number is. I'm not a capologist. But if they trade them after a certain date, June maybe? June 1st? May 1st or something like that? Then they could take that, whatever that cap number is, they could split it in half and, and have them hit half of it this year and half of it the next year. I've heard some rumblings that they might, that Packers might wait until after that date. Here's legendary contenders. Steve Young, that's one out of 99. There you go, it's June 1st. And here's a Jerome Ford, rookie ticket autograph for Cleveland. Eric with the Browns. Cleveland, this is for you. All right, so Titus, Mike is saying that, yeah, June 1st. So I guess they're waiting until then? I mean, unless, unless the Jets get happy feet, happy feet, cold feet, and, uh, and just want to get the deal done now. Is it making them nervous? So we'll see. Maybe there'll be a draft day deal. Who knows what's going to happen? Who knows what's happening there? And who's what's going to happen with Lamar Jackson? Nobody wants Lamar Jackson. Uh, on ProFootballRumors.com, I guess Falcon signed Calais Campbell. I don't know how old these stories are, but Seahawks Bobby Wagner agree to a deal. There's some more bids for the Commanders. Panthers signed DJ Shark. Ravens, Nelson Aguilar agree to a deal. Lane Johnson extended Elijah Moore to the Browns. I think those are some older headlines. Yeah, not, not a lot going on. Ah, Adam Kupperman is a Jets guy. So he's got his ears to the ground on all this uh, Jets stuff. Adam thinks it gets done before the draft, maybe within the next week. Supposedly the sticking point is whether there would be a 2025 conditional pick that the Jets could get back if Rodgers only plays one year. Okay. That would be nice. That would bring some clarity to the situation. Especially if it's before the draft. You don't want that hanging over your head pre-draft. Although at this point, there's no way that deal doesn't get done, right? All right, next box. There's a MVP contenders Josh Allen to 99. That'll be for Jerry and the Buffalo Bills. We got Dan Marino die cut. I thought that was gonna be an autograph for a second. What's that number two? It's not numbered, but I don't think I've seen this card. I've done a number of these breaks. I don't think I've seen a card like this, so this might be short printed. 
So a cool little die cut going to Joseph K. and the Dolphins. We got for the Raiders, Chase Garbers. Rookie autograph. I think he's still on the roster. He, he might be the QB2 as of now. Goes to Adam and my Raiders. And there is Trent Gill. Trenton Gill. As for Chris and the Bears, I want to say we looked this guy up. And I want to say that he set punting records, I want to say, in college. You got Tyreek Smith, rookie ticket autograph for Seattle. That's for Justin and the Seahawks. We got Jalen Peter. That's for Houston. That'll be for Mark and the Texans. And there is Avery Williams. That's for Rob in the ATL. You think Houston think Houston will ever go back to the Oilers? I think the Titans have the rights to the name, but I don't the Titans are going to be the Oilers anytime soon. I feel like Houston should just buy back the the rights to the team. Here's Easy E. Another one here, rookie ticket autograph for Miami. That'll be for Joseph K. Just go back to the Oilers. Those are cool uniforms. Cool logo, cool uniforms. All right. The redemption is Tariq Woolen, rookie ticket autograph for, I want to say Seahawks. Show me Seahawks. Got him. That's going to go to Justin. Maybe not eco-friendly enough. I suppose so. It's more about honoring the uh, the oil field history, I guess. Maybe Houston Teslas, Houston EVs. Uh, that's not as fun. What happens with Zach Wilson? Was he really that bad? Well, according to Zach, he said that whoever comes in as QB to try to replace him. He's going to give him a hard time. He's going to fight and battle for that job, according to him. Wilson gets traded to the Raiders. I don't think the Raiders are interested in trading for a quarterback after they got Jimmy Garoppolo. I think they're intending for him to get QB1. And then they're probably thinking about drafting a quarterback before they move assets to get Zach Wilson. I think they'd rather use a pick on their guy, on a guy they scout and that they want, as opposed to a, uh, as opposed to Zach Wilson. Oh, in your scenario, Jimmy G has a free, act, yeah. I like Jimmy Garoppolo, but I'd, I'd be stunned if he if he plays 17, if he makes 17 starts this season.
All right, we got uh, Ayoma Uazurike. Three out of 99. That goes to my rivals, the Broncos, Nico with Denver. We got Marshall Faw, autograph, nice. That's 23 out of 25 for Marshall Falk. Nice one for the Rams, Adam won the Rams in the filler. And we got Trey McBride for Mike Cass and the Cardinals. Rookie on card autograph. Yeah, that's a good one for your, for the Rams. And here's a MVP contenders Tyreek Hill, sixty five out of ninety nine. All right, we got another uh, Trenton Gill autograph. This time, number 65 out of 99. That's Chris with the Bears. This is one of those cards where you just stick in a drawer and uh, check back in 15 years and see if he ends up being a Hall of Fame punter or on his way to being a Hall of Fame punter. And you bust out those rookie cards from contenders, make that delicious, delicious profit. There's Ontario Drummond, 24, I don't know how much profit, but... 24 out of 49, it goes to Dallas Charles with the Cowboys. There you go, Lakers beating Houston 134 to 109, keeping their play in and playoff hopes alive. Now what am I switching to? Maybe some Sunday Night Baseball? There's some more Sunday Night Baseball still happening here. There's Jalen Virgil, rookie ticket autograph. And yeah, as a Mavs fan, my, oh, what a catch. Three boxes left halfway through this break, about 15, 20 minutes to go. Um, as a Mavs fan, the NBA is dead. What happened with the Mavs? It can't all be, oh, it's the easy answer is, oh, Kyrie, but is it though? <laughs> I mean, I thought after the Mavs got Kyrie Irving, I thought, man, they're, they're, they're going to surge. But they have surged the opposite way. What's the opposite of a surge? They have receded. What happened with the Mavs? No post defense outside of Maxi Cleaver, who, who who I have a bone to pick with him after after he hit that game-winning three against my Lakers. That, that, that loss hurt. And if the Lakers missed the playoff by a game, we could point to that game among others, but definitely that game. And Mavs falling to the Hawks in OT, 132 to 130. Kyrie's foul in the final seconds of OT, dooms the Mavs, who put up 41 points, so. It was a beautiful three, just not the one I wanted to see. Objectively, yes, it was. It was great. All right. Next box. We got George Karloftis. Rookie ticket auto for the Chiefs. 
going to go to but it's going to go to Allen with Kansas City. And a redemp any guesses on the redemption here? Uh -huh, you're still salty about Andrew Bynum trying to kill Berea in 2011. Remember those days? Andrew Bynum on the Lakers. 34 out of 99. That's a... Uh, you like that? You like that? Kirk Cousins for Adam in Minnesota. We got Armani Rogers. Rookie ticket autograph for Andrew and the Commanders. We got Zachary Carter. That's uh, for Adam. We're on Cincinnati. For the Titans, we got Roger McCreary. It goes to Mike in Tennessee. Won that team in the filler. We got Alex Wright, rookie ticket autograph for the Browns. That's for Eric, Eric M. Cleveland, this is for you. All right, the redemption is Danny Gray, rookie ticket RPS, who I believe is a Niner. Yeah, Niner. That's going to go to Sean Maddock, picked up the Niners straight up. Two more to go. This is Figure Team 7, first half of a fresh case. Second half in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. When we started this break, a lot of teams left, so snag your teams in the second half before, uh, before someone else does. Should we whip around the NBA really quick? The Lakers beat the Rockets 134 to 109. Anthony Davis with 40 and 9. Sengun, 18 and 15 with three blocks. It's actually been doing pretty well. Uh, Spurs beat the Kings in OT, 142 to 134. Sabonis with 26, 8, and 6. Magic beat the Pistons 128 to 102. Franz Wagner, 16 points, 8 rebounds, 3 steals. Knicks beat the Wizards 118 to 109. Jalen Brunson, 27 points, 8 assists, 3 steals. In the victory, Hawks beat the Mavs 132 to 130 in overtime. Trey Young, 24 and 12 assists. Blazers beat the uh, T Wolves 107 to 105, wasting a uh, T Timberwolves wasting an Anthony Edwards, 37.6 assist effort. Bulls beat the Grizz 128 to 107. Zach Levine, 36 points, 9 assists. Nets beat the Jazz by a point, 111-110. Talon Horton Tucker, former Laker with 32 points and 8 assists. And then Bridges for Brooklyn, getting 30.7 rebounds and a few steals. Pascal Siakam drops 36 in a victory over the Hornets, 128-108. Savi Mahalik, another former Laker, 26 points. Good for him. In progress on NBA TV, Warriors are at Denver. They're up 50-39. So far, Draymond with six rebounds, six assists, no points. Might get one of those 10-point triple-doubles. What else? Pacers at uh, Cavs. They're leading 61-59 uh, at the half. Donovan Mitchell, 19 at the half. 
And then in the fourth quarter, Suns at Thunder. Suns leading 114-109. Durant has 32 points. SGA has 33 points. Why is that on, not on any national TV network? He should have flexed out of that Warriors-Nuggets game and flexed into that Suns-Thunder game. Gilo, what's going on? We'll, we'll whip around uh, the baseball scoreboard in the last, last box. Jalen Warren. Rookie ticket autograph for the Steelers. Sean Maddock with Pittsburgh. We got a Garrett Wilson. On-card playoff ticket autograph. 49 out of 99. Nico won the Jets in the filler. Gets the offensive rookie of the year. I guess they, they, they wouldn't flex out of Steph Curry. That's true. Here's Cam Taylor Britt for Cincinnati. That's for Adam and the Bengals. Oh, Alan asking for Kansas City. We got him already. You got a George Karloftis autograph. Boom. And we got a. A Caleb Evans, 55 out of 99, playoff ticket autograph for Minnesota. That'll be for Adam. And then we got a Mac Jones playoff ticket card out of 199 for the Patriots. That's for Devin. Here's a real question. Who did I root for, Yankees or Niners? In what context? Oh, the Giants in the Yankees-Giants series. Um, yeah, football in the brain. Uh, I mean, Yankees. Anyone against, anyone against my rival, the, the San Francisco Giants. I was glad that they took care of business, the Yankees. There's Isaac Taylor Stewart for Dallas. That's for Charles. And we got Samuel Womack. That will be for San Francisco. That will be for Sean. All right, final box and then a recap coming up. We'll also do that left-right randomizer too. I won't forget about that. All right, uh, let's whip around. I think we had a full slate of baseball games today. I think there were 15 games today. Padres beat the Rockies 3-1. They split that four-game series. 2-2. Seth Lugo with the win. Gomber with the loss. Hader with the save. Guardians beat the uh, Mariners in extras 6-5. De Los Santos with the win. Murphy with the loss. Is that Tyler Steven with the save? Why was Class A not in there? He's on my fantasy team. Diamondbacks beat my Dodgers. Dodgers also splitting that four-game series. The 2-2. Uh, two, two. Jake McCarthy bunt, bunting home the go-ahead run. Is the bunt back? You have a lot, of, a lot of speed on that Diamondbacks team. Angels beat the A's. Looks like uh, Trout and Otani with back-to-back -back homers. Tyler Anderson with the win. With the shutout as well. Brewers beat the Cubs 9-5. Eric Lauer with the win. James and Tyon with the loss. Cardinals Blue Jays. Cardinals beat the Blue Jays 9-4. Montgomery with the win. Nolan Gorman with his with two home runs. Twins at Royals. Twins beat the Royals 7-4. Joey Gallo with a three-run jack. Joe Ryan with the win.
White Sox beat the Astros 6-3. Mike Clevenger with a win. Luis Robert with a home run. Yeah, the <laughs> G-Lo's Royals report. Royals finally scored some runs. Reds beat the Pirates 3-1. TJ Friedel wearing a Viking helmet, right, after a home run. That's what they're doing. Mets beat the Marlins 5-1. Kodai Senya has a, has a win. Yankees shut out the Giants 6-0. Red Sox beat the Orioles 9-5. Adam Duvall with a two-run single. Nationals beat the Braves 4-1. They got, they're avoiding the sweep. The Rays beat the Tigers 5-1. Or was Urania, first homer of the year. And on TV in the background, Phillies are in Dallas. Rangers up 2-1 in the top of the ninth. That's the whip around for baseball and basketball. And there's Peyton Hendershot. Another one for Charles and the Cowboys. What's is the Kings playing tonight? Los Angeles Kings? They are. They are currently playing. They're up 2-1 on Vancouver. Victor saying, I didn't realize LA still had a team in baseball. Or football? What are, talking, what are we talking about here? Here's a Kenyon Green for Mark and the Texans. Devin saying, you and Victor went to the M's Guardians last night and froze your butts off. Yeah, I feel like the first few weeks of the season, I feel like they should just do it all, all in warm weather areas. Hmm. Roldis Chapman hit 103 on the gun, looking like his old self. Is he throwing strikes along with that? I feel like he lost a little control was the other issue. And the velocity came back. Here's another Texan, Christian Harris, for Mark and the Houston Texans. Three strikeouts. All right, there you go. Noah Syndergaard looked pretty good today for the Dodgers. Here's a rookie ticket autograph, Jordan Stout. Kind of uh, sort of like the beers that I like, Stouts, Brown Ales, stuff like that. Like a Guinness or a Newcastle. It goes to uh, Aaron and the Ravens, if I have them, if I have a beer. Usually a whiskey, gin kind of guy. And another autograph is Martin Emerson, rookie ticket autograph for the Browns. Eric with the Browns. Cleveland, this is for you. Is that it? Or do we get one more autograph? No, that is that. All right, there you go, gang. Let's do a quick left-right randomizer and then I'll do a recap. So this will represent all those left-right cards right there. Let's flip back to some new dice and a new list. Let's go left-right on that randomizer. Let's roll it and randomize it. Six and a three, nine times side on top after nine gets it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time goes to the right side after nine. So all the right side teams will get these cards. Here's a quick recap. Second half in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Pick your teams now before someone else does or before it ends up in a filler. And we've got plenty of time to run this back tonight if you want to. Nice Marshall Falk there. That uh, ticket stub, Dan Marino, is pretty cool. Not numbered, but I feel like it's short printed. All right. And there you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And we'll do some more NFL with you next time. Bye-bye.